Hey guys, in today's video I will show you how a clogged DPF looks like. A client from our car workshop that I currently work for came to replace the DPF. I convinced one of the mechanics to help me open the DPF to show you guys what's inside. If you want to learn how a DPF works, I have another video on this topic so you can check it out right now. Diesel particulate filters have an average lifetime of around 200,000 km, but it strictly depends on the driving conditions and driving behavior. If you drive only in town for short distances, the DPF will get damaged pretty quickly. If you drive only on the highway, you might see 300,000 km on one DPF. This BMW 5 Series from 2009 has 240,000 km on board and the DPF is completely clogged. Exhaust could not escape anymore through the DPF and engine faults appeared together with loss of power. The DPF is located at the beginning of the exhaust and it shares the same room with the catalytic converter. DPFs have cores or cells made out of ceramic materials which filter soot, carbon and particulate matter pretty well. Most DPFs have an efficiency of over 85% but modern ones can have up to 95%. Some folks prefer to delete the DPF from the ECU by removing the DPF physically and then remapping the engine as if it never had a DPF. By doing this, fuel consumption will decrease and performance will increase. Driving a car after a DPF removal feels as if the car has another 10 extra horsepower. However, it's illegal to drive a car equipped with a DPF without its DPF. Basically, instead of Euro 6 emissions standard, you have Euro 3 or 4 and you won't pass the MOT emissions test anymore. So this is how a DPF looks inside, if you have any questions you can leave them down below. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you want to see more car videos and I'll talk to you guys soon.